As Gmail rolls out the multi-send and layouts features, we list out the limitations of their first native mail merge tool. The first limitation is that there are only a few eligible Google accounts. Indeed, as you can see on the screen, the feature only works if you have a Google Workspace individual account. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see all the ineligible accounts such as Business Starter, um, Google Workspace Essentials, or even if you have a personal Google account. The second limitation is the way you can add contacts. With Gmail Multisend, there are only two ways you can add recipients. The first way is by typing or pasting emails in the to field, which can be tedious and time consuming if you have many contacts to add. The second way is to create a label in your Google contacts, then assign an email address under that label. When you add that label in your to field, all the addresses will load. This is how it's going to look like. Unfortunately, Gmail does not yet allow you to email contacts from spreadsheets. That's apparently on their roadmap. Until then, you can still in import a CSV or vCard file into Google Contacts and then label it. Some mail merge and multi-sending tools make it much easier for you. Take MailMeteor, for example. The tool lets you create emails and compose them within the spreadsheet, as well as filter data to send emails only to specific recipients. The third major drawback of Gmail's multi-sending feature is that it significantly limits the number of emails you can send in a campaign. So, for instance, if you have a workspace plan, you can increase the outgoing email limit from 1,500 to 2,000 emails per day. With MailMeteor, on the other hand, it offers you six times that amount, meaning that you can send your campaign to 10,000 contacts at the same time. The fourth limitation is that merge tags cannot be used in the subject field. Businesses and entrepreneurs spend a lot of time cleaning and tagging data like contact or customer lists to make them practical and usable. In mail merge terms, you can personalize your emails by including the name of your business, specific products or services you sell, and a course or program that your end customers use or attend. For comparison, MailMeteor lets you use multiple send merge tags, create your tags from spreadsheet columns and use them in the subject line. You can even create messages to send different content to different recipients. You can find out more by clicking the link available in the description below. The fifth limitation is that whilst you can easily combine multi-sends and layouts to create a brandable template and use it as a newsletter or announcement, you are quite limited. With Gmail multi-send, you can change the logo, the colors, the fonts, the footer details and links, but you cannot upload custom HTML that you've designed for your brand's marketing communications. You'll have to make do with a dozen templates provided by Gmail. This is quite limiting if your organization or business uses various customized templates for emails or other marketing channels. With MailMeteor, you can import custom HTML, so you can use different custom templates for emails or other marketing channels. The sixth limitation is how you deliver your emails. With MailMeteor, on the other hand, you can schedule your emails or even send them on autopilot. With autopilot, you can throttle your outgoing emails, choose days or times to send them, or even set daily caps or and delays. With Gmail Multisend, there is no email tracking. This means you don't get tracking reports on who received your email, who opened it, 
and whether it was clicked or replied. Mail Media shows you real-time tracking data and campaign reports in your dashboard. This is what you're seeing on this screen. This is it for this video. We hope you found it helpful. See you soon.